Are you serious? Am I running late again? Of course you are, as usual. What are you doing and why is your tie not knotted properly? I think I look alright. It's just dinner. Plus, it's in my house. May I remind you, you are not the only one having dinner. We have people coming over. Why is it hard for you to look the way I want you to? Come here. Now tell me, how do you feel? I feel like... A responsible fellow. With brains. My future husband. Just the way I want it to be. <laughs> Love you. Now come here. Let's go. Finally, we can eat now. Seriously, it's about time. I'm sorry. You know, sometimes he just needs to be pushed around. Of course, sweetheart. He's only a man. What are you talking about? Boy, why are you always late? Mom, I always like to look good. <laughs> talking about looking good, I must confess. The two of you make a wonderful couple. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> she means a lot to me. Oh, that sounds nice. Enough with the PDA. Please, can we eat now? I'm starving. Let us pray. Bless us, O oh Lord, and this gifts in front of us. Amen. 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 Good. Mm. that? It's Pete. What does he want? I don't know. I have to take this. Switch off the phone. I really have to take this. Are you kidding me? Switch off the damn phone. Is everything all right over there? Where are you? I'm home with my family. I'm having dinner. Dude, I'm going to give it to you straight. You see, I'm looking at two broads right now with our names written all over them. So better do yourself a favor and come running. What? Are you crazy? You know I can't do that. I didn't know that, love it, bitch. That's not even funny, Pete. <laughs> see, so what do you expect me to do with these two? Come on, look at them. I don't know. Just do you, do what you always do. You know I can't make it. I'm getting married. I'm having dinner with my in-laws. Yeah, right. Pay. I have to go back to the table. You see, I'm going to do a threesome tonight. Hmm? And you're not going to hear a word about it. Take pictures. I'm not going to do that. Come on, bro. No way. <laughs> you know what? I'll call you in the morning. Don't call me, never ever. Ha! Huh. Boring. So for how long are you going to be mad at me? Over a phone call. I'm not mad at you. 
I just don't want to talk to anybody. I'm not just anybody. I'm your fiancé. My fiancé? Is that all you can be, Jack? You know what? I'm going to use a shower. Please, make yourself comfortable. We need a plan. Isn't that your fiance's job? I'm serious. Okay. I'm sorry. What do you have? I need you to distract her. I don't need her in my space. You know the circumstances. Dude. How? And for how long am I supposed to do that? Okay. Okay. I know, but you know my cup runs over. I know your cup is full. But I'm not asking you to marry her, am I? Bro, this girl is crazy. She's snobbish. I mean, she's... She's grown up by now. and might have changed. Honestly, man, I've never refused you anything but this one. I'm your bro. Besides, I'm getting married. You know I hate it when you interrupt me. Oh, I'm sorry. Beatrice? Screw you. <laughs> when was the last time you saw this girl? High school, I think. I saw her last year. She's a complete beauty. Oh. Back in high school, she was hot, but not all that, you know. That was high school. Right now, she's red hot. This babe is fire. No way. No way. And. Dude, I'm in. It's okay if you don't want to do this. I understand. I'm in. Based on the circumstances. Are you serious right now? All right. Get her bags. Yes, sir. Right now. Sure. Damn. Hey. Hi. I'm Peter, the best man. Chanel, maid of honor. Pleasure. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. Please. This way. Damn. 
outstanding. What? Can't you see her? Are you blind? Come on. You know what's going to happen now, right? Ah, uh, yes. You are going to let me revise these papers. What? We talked about this, Jack. Yes, we did. We are supposed to make love only when you feel us to. Now, why don't you be a gentleman that you are? Please. Be a gentleman? What is that? I'm not a gentleman. <clears throat> right now, I am a terrorist. And what is that supposed to mean? Babe, come on. I'm a man. And sometimes we have needs. Please, Jack. Not tonight. Definitely not tonight. Now tell me. What am I supposed to do with this erection that is going on down there? I don't know. Just do anything to distract yourself. I have an idea. Why don't you picture Jesus Christ on the cross, dying for your sins? Or you might as well help yourself. Do it. Okay. Good night. Good night, honey. Looks like you can use some company. I'm not very sure about that. But I'm already here. Yes, you are. So can I stay? Can I send you away? Nope. <laughs> you know, you can't force me to talk to you, right? Yeah, it's cool. I know you can't resist me either. Now, I don't know if you're being cute or you're just being a jerk. Mm, a little bit of both. Right. You see, I, I know a place. What about it? You're going to love it. Maybe, but I don't think it's a good idea, Peter. It's not a date. Wait a minute. Yeah, you think I'm taking you out for a date? Come on. What's wrong with me? Nothing. Then why won't you go on a date with me? Oh, are you trying to ask me out now? You better be polite because I'm not cheap. You know what, Peter? I like you. Yeah, you think you got game, but it's not enough. What? That's my cue. I've got game. Give me that at least. That's okay, Peter. Okay, no it's understandable. Now, can you remind me why I'm doing this again? Is it because Chanel is irresistible? Or does it just you? Don't mess with me now. It's just for a week. Just distract her. From the look of things, it seems you still have feelings for this babe. What? Are you serious? <laughs> because if you do, it's cool. You can still have her for a side chick. You're disgusting. <laughs> Yes, you are. I'm just saying. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yes. Are you alright? Of course I'm fine. Oh, honey. Are you nervous? It's okay. You're getting married. Don't you think it's a little bit early to be nervous? No, it's never too early to be nervous. I'm just so nervous. No. Come here. It's okay. You okay? Don't go. We'll smile. Good. 
Mai ales că însă are în ceară acest lângă fundiu. Să vezi ce bine mult sub iubire. Să încă? Nu. What are you doing here? <laughs> so this is my yard. I can sit wherever I want. You're such a lonely old man. You know that, right? Your life is a mess. I am fine, son. Sit down. Is everything all right? I'm fine. Thank God. So what's the invite all about? Can't I see my son? Come on, Dad. Between you and I, we know there's something. What is it? It's about you and everything that's going on. You see, son, uh, when I met your mother many years back, I was sure that this is the person I would like to spend the rest of my life with. She wasn't the best choice, but it was my decision. And I lived it. You see, um, marriage is not what most of us parents seem to, to show. Dad. Are you sure Lovett is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with? Lovett and I love each other. I know sometimes she's just, you know, love it, but I know she loves me. I'm sure. Yes, I know. Marriage is way deeper than love. Especially today, that is so hard to tolerate. Dad, is this something you're not telling me? Son, I just want to be sure that you are not under any kind of influence or pressure. I'm not. You see, I ch cherish the fact that the two families are together. I love it. But your happiness counts more at this point. Don't do it for me. Don't do it for your mother either. Dad. I'm doing it for me. And if Lover turns out to be like mom, I'm going to make her disappear. Italian star. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen you laugh like this in a very long time. Tell me about it. <laughs> How are situations? The situation is getting worse. She doesn't listen to me anymore. She goes out to town. And look, Dad, you are not that very old. You have a lot of life to live. You need to get out there, live your life. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Get a girlfriend. No, son. Marriage is for better or for worse. Come on, Dad. Your marriage ended it over a decade ago. Yes, of course. I'm not blind. She's my mom. But she made her choice. You know what? You need to call Pete. What for? We need a makeover. Besides, he needs a wingman. I'm serious. Call Pete. you're trying on and it all looks so gorgeous on you. Really? Yes. I know, this is lovely. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. However, the first one was on a totally different level. Uh, yeah, the first one was nice, but I think this is the dress. Yes. This is the dress. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting married. 
<laughs> and Jack is definitely gonna love this. Yeah, um, I think so too. I just love the design. It's beautiful. Thank you. You are amazing. <laughs> well, I am your maid of honor. That's my job. <laughs> and lest I forget, I will be leaving town tomorrow. What for? Work? You're getting married, for Christ's sake. I know this might sound crazy, but I really have to go. And thank God you are here. <laughs> and what about Jack? What about him? What does he say about you leaving at this time? It's obvious he's going to be worried, but right now, his opinion does not really count. He's your future husband. And so what, girl? May I remind you, we run things. We run things. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I will be needing lots of favors. So, can I count on you? Sure. Anything. Sure. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Breakfast? I'm sorry, I'm really pressed. I'm running out of time right now. Jack, it's only breakfast. Okay. Familiar? Yes, it is. Coffee? I'm sorry, I didn't drink coffee. But you love coffee in the morning. I'll talk to you later. Fire is not in that bag. No, it's not. Oh my god, you're such a lifesaver. Well, you're welcome. Um, I'll see you later. Gotta go. Uh, please, can you just wait for me in my office? Are you sure? Yes, please. Okay. Sorry for asking you to wait this long. I didn't know it's gonna stay like this. It's alright. It wasn't that long. Yeah, it's okay. I'm okay. How did it go? It was good. Thanks again. Well, I'm glad I could help. Oh, quite right. Doesn't have to be. How have you been? I moved on. Chanel. I'm sorry about... 
I have to go. I'm eating pita later. I was young and stupid. And I'm sorry. Where did I go wrong? Wasn't I good? Pretty enough? You were perfect. Then what happened? What's wrong with perfect? Nothing. Jack. We're so much in love. Then one day you just up and disappeared. Why? I don't know, okay? But it had nothing to do with you. Then it's you. Yes. It had everything to do with me. What a cliche. But it's true. You hungry? Yes. But I'm not having dinner with you. Why is that? Stay away from me, Jack. I'm beginning to think this place wasn't a good idea after all. No, you did all right. I'm loving it. You see, that's the problem. What's the problem? You should be loving me and not this place. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Peter. We're here to have fun, right? Yeah, right. Okay. What do you think about the wedding? I think it's a sham. It's not going to work. What? Gonna... Why do you say that? Yeah, Jack is a cool guy. He's okay for any girl on earth. Except that love it. Why? She's a controlling freak. Too bossy. Well, you're right. Jack knows it, but he's totally cool with it. It's just a matter of time. Nine months, tops. I think they make a great couple. That is what it seems. But trust me, he doesn't want to get married to her. Then why are we here? Aren't we here for a wedding? I didn't say he doesn't want to get married. I just said, love it is not his choice. Then why is he doing it? His mom. He's not going to admit it, but that's the truth. <laughs> well, I'm going to choose not to believe you, Peter. Seriously. If that helps. Well, enough about that. What about you? Me? What about me? Do you want to get married? Hell no. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, what you're trying to tell me here is you're just wasting my time, huh? Come on. You can't play me like this. Like what? Okay, what? that's it. The line has been drawn. I'm not going to get any action. Come on, Peter. You and I both know. You're not my type. Come on, what are you talking about? I mean, you are my type. You, you, you can, you know? That may be true. What can I say? But I'm certainly sure I am not your type. Really? Okay. You're like a player. I don't do players, and I definitely don't do one night stand. Okay. So, can we try two nights? What? <laughs> two. <laughs> okay. What for? Friendship. Hmm. Friendship. I like that. Totally. Totally. And why are you struggling to be too serious? There is really nothing you can do. And then look at the time when a married woman is returning home. 
I think you have to put a stop to this. And who is going to make sure that happens? Helen, I am still your husband. I deserve some respect. Did you say husband? Did you say husband? When are you going to sign the divorce papers? I no longer want you to be my husband. I no longer want to be your wife. If you continue like this, you are certainly going to catch a heart attack. Husband, indeed. What are you doing? So much work. Can I help? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm done. Whatever. <laughs> so, who was that outside? It's just Peter. Are you serious? <laughs> and he couldn't come to say hello. What have you done to my best friend? <sighs> Don't worry. He'll be fine. Of course. Is he always that straight to the point? No comment. Of course you can't say anything. <laughs> Bro code. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> God, I haven't had this much to drink in like forever. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> I think you're getting drunk. Am I? God, <laughs> I hope I don't say anything I'm not supposed to. <laughs> what are you hiding? I'm not hiding anything. But you just say you hope you don't say something you're not supposed to, so... I know, Jack. It's called privacy. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. Talking of changes, you don't drink coffee anymore? No, I don't. Why is that? I just don't. Let it go. Oh my god. It's love it, isn't it? That's not fair. It's alright. Coffee's bad somehow. Come on, Jack. What do you want me to say? You know what? It's alright. It's none of my business anyway. You've changed a lot. I just hope you're happy. I think I'm pretty much still me. And now I'm, I'm happy. That's not very true. You used to be the life of the party. You used to laugh until you cry. <laughs> Where is that guy? He grew up, I guess. Nah. I think you're being controlled. There's a real you inside there that is just waiting to be free. She doesn't know you and I used to have a thing. I think it's better that way. So you think I'm really boring? Is that what I said? Not exactly, but that's what you implied. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's all right. You're right. When was the last time you had sex, Jack? <laughs> Always. <laughs> Did you hear something? No, I didn't. I don't think sex is what I really need in my life right now anyway. You kidding? You and I used to have sex everywhere. The first time at the beach. How can I? That was the time and place I lost my... Holy shit. Are you being serious right now? You didn't say nothing. I never wanted you to know I was an immature. Wow. You know, I thought you and I were so mean. We shouldn't. It's nice. 
I go to heaven? So, what next? It's a new day for you. So, new rules. Rules? We are done with the first part. Which is? Grooming. You know, you have to look good like this all the time. Looking good like this always is a lot of work. <laughs> You're welcome. So, what's the second rule? Pay less attention to love. As a matter of fact, forget about love. I think we shouldn't have oh, to please. Sit down. Do you want your life back or what? In as much as I don't want to be here, I want my life back. So, can you remind me why we are doing this again? Apparently it's a good idea. I have to remind you every 10 seconds. Okay. I love my wife, okay? And I want her to love me back. Can you help me or not? Okay, all right. Um, it's your bottle, right? Yes. What are, what are you getting at? Just hold on to it. You have good bottles, right? Yes, of course. I have everything and you don't have nothing. <laughs> it's the same thing with love. Once you give it all, Mom, that's it. She doesn't want you anymore. Game over. But the thing is, she has to be afraid of losing you. Yes. Trust me, she's going to want you again, and even more this time. No, you are good. Oh, please, please. <laughs> so, what do I do? Do I forget about my wife completely? No, 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 no. You're not listening to me, old man. You can't forget about your wife. Don't do that. All I want is just divert the attention a little bit. Huh? Do something fun. Yes, there are so many pretty girls around. I mean, get yourself a hobby. I don't think I have. You don't have a hobby? I mean to say, uh, I don't think I have that, um, you know, the energy to... <laughs> the ladies part. <laughs> you know, I am no more the youth I used to be. <laughs> are you serious? Look, you, you're amazing. You look amazing. Uh, you know what? Give me a minute. I'm going to show you something. Okay. Hello? Hey. One minute, please. What are you doing? Just relax. Hi. Hi. Um, please, um, sorry for the hold up. Uh, will you consider going out with my uncle here for a date? I'm sorry, I'm not single. Okay, so you're saying if you were single? Yes, why not? You asked nicely. Thank you. You're sweet. Bye. So who is your daddy now? <laughs> I have no idea, son. Just like that. <laughs> like a young boy. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to meet some friends. You don't have friends? Of course, I made some new friends. Especially now that I'm getting divorced. One needs to get out there. <laughs> One never know I might be lucky. 
<laughs> Have a nice day. You, you. I needed to have seen her face. <laughs> if I waited another second, she would have jumped on my shoulder. Yes, sir. <laughs> I told you. Didn't I tell you? Uh, Works like magic. Uh, <laughs> it's like that. I know. <laughs> I just realized the woman you're talking about is my mom who actually carried me in her stomach for nine months. Come on, son. Why are you being dramatic here? Dramatic? I, I don't intend to hurt her in any way. She, in fact, she... See, Jack, the plan is... Shut up, plan shut up, Pete. I'm not talking to you. Look, son, I'm not going to do anything stupid. I love your mom and you too. Besides, I'm enjoying my new way of life. <laughs> Let's have a toast to that. Come on, son. Be happy for me. For once, please. No. <laughs> Serious? But isn't that what I was saying? No. <laughs> that is not even what you said. Okay, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> By the way, um, how was your business? What is the one you're coming from? Hello? <laughs> oh my god, it was fun. You don't want to know. <laughs> Love it. Is there something you're not telling me? What? And by the way, why are you all up in my business? Oh, okay. Your business, huh? Yes, my business. First of all, darling, I am your maid of honor which means you are my business. Secondly, if I am to cover you up again, I need to know what's up, so you better start talking. <laughs> I hate you, I swear. <laughs> okay, it was no business trip. I had to see someone. Jesus Christ, love it. What's wrong with you? What? Come on, I only going to put an end to the relationship. And you expect me to believe that? Yes, please, man, believe me. Do you even love Jack? Of course I do. And that's the only reason I had to put an end to the whole thing. No, you went to sleep with him. Jesus. Why on earth would you say that? Because a simple phone call would have done it. Yeah. Jack doesn't deserve this, you know. You're right. But the thing is, Jack is just so predictable, like, it's the same thing every day, I don't know. You know what, I'm going to do myself a big favor and stay out of your business. <laughs> Seriously, why is it that a man can do these things and it's unspeakable for a woman to do this? Why? There is no double standards about this. Cheating is cheating, irrespective of the gender. I hear you, Oprah. Oh, please. Come on. You're unbelievable. You know that, right? I know, and that's why you love me. Hey, honey. Hey. <laughs> I good. Linda, is everything okay? Perfect. <laughs> And who is Judith? Let me have it. Who is Judith? Let me have it. Yeah. 
And who is she? Who I see, what I do, is none of your business. What? Let it be the very last time. You, you know, you can't. Why is that? Are you blind? Oh, boy. <sighs> Just know your limits, okay? You see that attitude, Ruben? That's why we shouldn't get married. Boy, just look at me. God, I can't wait to have me so... Oh. That's how it is, eh? Okay. Who's this guy with Jack? Oh, Ruben. Jack's friend. Cool guy. He's cute too. Girl, don't tell me you're attracted already. Yes, I am. I'm going over there. Don't even think about that. Why not? She doesn't even know the guy already. If she doesn't go over there, how else is she supposed to know the guy? Should he be worried? Yeah, he should. No. Children are beautiful, okay? They give from God, come on, man. No, they are annoying. <laughs> it is your ideas that are annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you, though. Oh. Linda. Linda! Are you listening to this? What? <laughs> If she doesn't hurry up, I'll go take him and do him tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my God. You are a nutcase. Go on, girl. And I can't believe you're encouraging her. Seriously. I don't think she's doing anything wrong. Exactly. Do you know what men think about women like this? I in what? This is it. They think you're cheap, and there's no way they'll want to have anything serious to do with you. <laughs> Yes, darling. <laughs> Stupid and naive men. And I don't think Ruben is one of them. <laughs> go, girl, go do your thing. No. Why are you. No way, no. No, she's not doing it. I think we have a guest. Oh, Monica, I like that chick. Watch the magic. Here she comes, guys. Ruben, right? Yeah, right. I'm Monica. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, Monica is Ruben, the only person you see on this table. Hi, Peter. Please, could you join us? Hope you don't mind. <laughs> no, thanks. I only came over to say hello. Wow, this is so sweet. Oh, please, excuse me. Please. Will I be seeing you again? You can count on that. It's a wedding. I very much look forward to it. And that, my friend, is what we call magic. Are you being educated? I'm not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't believe you girls made her do that. Why not? 
She's not doing anything bad. Oh, why is she even? <laughs> Here she comes. Let's hear what she had to say. Mm. So, how did it go? Well, it went well. Mm. <laughs> Is that it? It what? went well. Is that all you have to say? What do you guys want to know? Did he at least ask you out? Yes. <laughs> he said he wanted to see me again. Oh, how nice. No, it's not. That's been cheap. What? Been cheap. Uh, what's this one? Ah. Damn, I think this one is mine. Are you sure about that? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Is that him? Yep. <gasps> Damn, he's so fine. Hello, ladies. Hi. What's up, babe? Hi. Hi. Let's go. We need to get more drinks. We're running short. <laughs> what are you laughing? I told you guys today is going to be fun. I have no idea. Are you sure you don't know this guy? No, I don't. But from the look of things, I think uh, he's the boyfriend. She doesn't have a boyfriend. And how do you know that? I'm telling you. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Um. This is James, my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I'm just gonna let you hang with the guys, you know. Okay. Have fun. Okay. See you later. Okay, see you. Bye. Yeah. You're welcome to join us, boy. Have a seat. Oh, thank you. By the way, um, congratulations, man. Your girl, she's beautiful. Thank you. So, how long have you guys been engaged? Two months. Wow, that's, that's fast. When you know, you know. What can I say? Besides, we've been together for like six years. Six years? Oh, now that's understandable. So, how long you and Chanel has been together? Chanel and I, we don't get down like that, you know? We're just, we're just kicking it. Nothing, nothing serious. <laughs> That's my bro. <laughs> Man. Yeah, nothing. From one player to another. Yeah. I keep telling them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I keep telling them. Come on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Does she know you guys are just kicking it as you put it? Come on, Claire. How's that? How's that my business? I just I just put my cards on the table, right? If you can't read them, then too bad. <laughs> I'm loving this. And why are you loving and looking at me? It's just so funny. And you thought I was bad. <laughs> Let me get you a glass. You know that? Bring us another glass, please. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's the same thing I told your dad. <laughs> you don't do that to a woman. Okay. That's all right. Have a bite and tell me. Mm. 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 This is good. Told you. <laughs> mm. Good. I can 
do this all day. Hey, hey, slow down with it, okay? Take it easy. Oh, come on, love it. Let him have his feel. Next one, this one right here. Ah, I think we're gonna have a problem choosing. This is good. Oh, chef is very talented. Okay, next. This one is chocolate, right? Uh huh. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm done. <That's> <laughs> I know they all good, baby. What do you think? I think they're so so good. We're in the right place. Okay. I mean, which one do you prefer? It doesn't really matter which one I choose. Just go ahead and pick anyone. I think you girls should just um pick one, Jack. The last one, chocolate. Excellent choice. Um, I don't think so. I think we should go for the lemon. I mean, it has less sugar, that's healthier. You got a point. <laughs> Uh, we funny or something? Why do you always do this? Do what? What are you talking about? You always ask for my opinion. Sometimes you beg for it. I want to give it to you. Boom. You go the other way. And what's eating you up about that? Why do you bother asking in the first place? What's wrong with me asking anyways? That's how it's always been. There's nothing ever wrong with what you do. <sighs> Sorry. I have to take this. Excuse me. Uh, I'll be right back. You see that? If it's me, hell will break loose. It's alright, Jack. I think you guys should just talk it on later. There's no point talking about it. She'll never listen. Just talk about it anyway. I'm really sorry guys, but I have to go. This is work. Really urgent. Take care, baby. See ya. <laughs> I think I have to get drunk right now. <laughs> what is it? Are you alright? I don't know if I'm making a mistake or what. Right. I'll be fine. Yeah, you're married. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's okay if you don't want to talk about it. It's fine. But I have something to ask you. What? Your boyfriend, James. Where did you find this guy? Why? He's a complete jerk. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I mean, I know he can be a jerk at some times, but... Sometimes. What's wrong with you? Are you okay? The guy is a complete asshole. That just seems to be all I can find. You know? 
I guess I just have to settle for that. I refuse that. Look at you. You're beautiful, smart, intelligent, very hardworking, ambitious. I think you deserve the best boyfriend this earth has to offer. You should never settle. Never. Sometimes I wish every man was as sweet as you. Yeah. Why did you with me? It's destiny. She has her ways. This is a bachelor's party. Yes, this is it. You might as well just go about it and enjoy yourself because this is all you're going to get. But why is it two days before the wedding? Forget the formalities. I'm just trying to hang with my boys. If that be the case, then I'm going to really be honest with you. This is the worst bachelor's party I've ever witnessed. <laughs> you can love all I care. What is this? <laughs> Even my grandma's wiki was better than this shit. <laughs> I really don't care about what you think. This is my bachelor's party. You can do yours when you get married. <laughs> if that's what you're waiting for, bro, forever is a very long time. <laughs> you really need to grow, man. Come on. Grow up and do what? And die? <laughs> I'd rather remain a child. You speak as if you're even married yourself. Yeah, I may not be married, but I'm going to be like the first chance I get. See guys, all I'm saying is, let's just try to get some females. Okay, you know what? I'll make the call. No, 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 I insist. No females. Oh, you guys are killing me right now. Hey, you need to relax. I can't relax like this. I can't do it. Oh, what is this? Yo, what's up? Just in time, my man. Ladies? What's up, man? Good to meet you, man. You good? Yeah, bro. What's, What's up? up? Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Thank you, Tinsen. Hi. Right now? I need to feel something. So, I'll take you to you. Do you mind joining us? Yo, man, what's up? What are you doing? I don't follow. Don't be dumb with me. I thought I made myself perfectly clear. I don't want any females. Were you serious? You really were serious? Holy shit. What kind of party is that? The kind of party I prefer. This is my party. And how, how, how dare you disrespect Shana like that? Come in here with those girls. That's none of your business. Get rid of them. I'm afraid I can't. I know your heart still beats for Chanel. She has that effect on many people. But I wonder if your fiancé knows about the affair you used to have with her own maid of honor, Mr. High Almighty. She'll be devastated. Wouldn't she be? Is that a threat? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not a threat. It's a reminder before you go sticking your nose in other people's business. Mr. High Almighty.
Come on, ladies. Let's let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get out of here. What's going on here? It's living. <laughs> Thank you. It's not my fault. It's his choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. You really suck, you know that? Whatever. Did you even see those girls? <laughs> Damn it. What about them? You're kidding me, right? Are you trying to finish your drinks? Ah, uh, get out here, man. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I'm late. It's okay. Nobody misses you. Really? <laughs> it's like that, eh? It's like that. It's like that. Anyway, uh, if you seen Monica. Hello. Hello. Like you look rubbish. Mm -hmm. You look nice too. Nice to meet you. Mm. <laughs> All right. Actually, I'm glad to see you again. Me too. <laughs> Hi. I'm sorry about young James. It's alright. He's a jerk, remember? <laughs> I can get the call. I'll just find out what's I don't know if this is the right time for me to speak, <laughs> but, but I feel like talking. That is, if you will permit me. I, I remember the, the first time my daughter brought this gentleman to our place. My wife and I had some doubt. I saw in this gentleman the kind of a man who, when he sees what he likes, he goes straight for it. He does not beat about the bush. So I am very happy and excited to give you my daughter as wife. Because I believe in you. Ladies and gentlemen, can we all raise our glasses? Yeah, at my lovely daughter. Yeah, I can love it. Dad I can and love it. it. I can love it. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> since it's talking time, I, I, as the best man, might as well just have something to say. You know, up to now, I thought marriage was an organization created to make men miserable. <laughs> yeah, you know, love it, I'm sorry, but I've tried talking this man out of this on countless occasions, but he's so adamant. So, thing is, I, the passion and love he has shown for you and the focus he has put on this particular wedding makes me understand that you guys actually have something going together. So, I'm here to say that I'm ready to help you guys in whatever way. And of course, to congratulate two of you. So, to Jack and Love It again. Jack and Love It again. Woo! Congratulations. <laughs> Think you're just gonna let me go like that? James, what are you talking about? It's not gonna happen. Are you crazy? You broke up with me, remember? Can you please just leave? Huh. What are you doing? Let me go. Seriously, James, I think you need to leave right now. Yes. Mind your business, love it. This has nothing to do with you. James, nothing. James, please, can we not cause a scene here? Here comes the man of the hour, coming to save the day. Mr. High Almighty. You know what? That's enough. We're drunk. Let me have the bottle. Oh my God! Did, Jack, this is, what? No, that's I mean, Jack. It's okay. It's, 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 it's James, okay. Can you okay. just leave? What? It's okay. Let's go. Let's go. 
You guys are killing me here. You can't tell. You can't. You can't see. You're still in love with each other. Your maid of honor is your fiance's ex. It's clear. You're still in love with each other. Let's go. Let's go. You can't love two women, man. What is he talking about? You can't listen to him. He's drunk. He's I don't drunk. care. Is it true? Chanel? This wedding is off. Come on, let's listen. Do you want? Calm down. I've not come for war. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've always been wrong. You, you gave me something so wonderful and priceless. But I lost my understanding on how precious that was. Marriage is for better and for worse. I have learned my lesson. Please forgive me, please, please. I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I'll meet you tomorrow. It's okay. It's okay. What's going on here? Hey, son. So did my failed wedding bring you guys back together? Um, not actually, but uh, we think uh, we can still make it up. I don't know, Dad. I'm sorry, Mom. It's all right. Everything happens for a reason. Are you sure? I'm not even sure you guys make the perfect couple. Seriously, Mom? You're kidding me? You wanted this marriage so bad? What do you expect me to say? Well, like your dad said, you can still make it work. But for everything that has happened, for everything that unfolded this evening, you have to really think about it. Give it a second. I don't know. I'm just going to go. Looks like you two need a room anyway. Everything is messed up, bro. Everything is messed up. I know, bro. I know. I mean, all the time you invested in a relationship. It's poof like that. Gone there. Messed up, I know. Wait a minute. Time invested? Is that all you worry about? Of course. 
course not. I worry about everything. Embarrassment, disappointment, everything, bro. I worry about everything. <laughs> You know, you know how I feel about you and Lovett getting married? I might just be right after all. Okay, no problem. I mean, James might be right. Now that I think of it. Right about what? About you and Chanel. I see the way you look at her. You never look at Lovett like that. Of course, that's not true. The guy is drunk and confused, sent by the devil to ruin my life. Uh, you have a chemistry with Chanel that you will never have to love it. I'm just saying. You're right. Keep saying. Think about it. I'll give you the time. Nazi. Now tell me, what are you doing here? Oh, let me guess. You're here to see your boyfriend, Jack. Am I right? Now will you just shut the hell up and listen? It's not like you're a saint here. Look, I don't want to listen to you or anything you have to say. Now leave. I'm not leaving unless I tell you what I think you need to say. Um, Chanel? I'm gonna close my eyes and before the count of three, you are going to leave. Will you just shut right. the hell up and listen? First of all, I should have told you about Jack and I. Have no excuse. I'm sorry. Secondly, if you're calling this wedding off because of something here and I had many years ago, then you're making a big mistake. I had feelings for him, yes. But he loves you. The boy is yours. There's no competition here. What are you even talking about? I called the wedding off already. And I can't go back. Love it, please. Will you drop your pride for one second? If you don't walk down the aisle today, you're making a very big mistake. And it's something you'll regret for a long time. Today's your wedding day. Go out there and knock them there. I'm really sorry about everything. If you don't want to talk to me ever again, I wish that. I'm sorry. Today has to be the happiest day of your life. Oh my god. Look at somebody looking so fly. <laughs> oh my god. I think I need to put this on Snapchat. Hey, Snapper. <laughs> so 
Oh no, Jack. What are you doing? <gasps> You're not supposed to see the bride before the wedding. I really need to talk to you. No, Jack. Love, I have to talk to you. Really, Jack? I just want to talk to you. From the first day I met you, I thought you were the most beautiful woman in the world. You are not only beautiful, you're smart, intelligent, and very hardworking. But are you sure you want to spend the rest of your life with me? What is this, Jack? I mean, I've been through a lot already because of you. I'm not ready to go through it anymore. What is this? I know. But think about it. Are you sure I'm that guy you want to spend the rest of your life with? For better and for worse? Through the bad times and the good times? So it's not all about love, huh? Love is never enough. Oh my god. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I just realized I don't want to get married to you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> thank you, Jack. No, thank you. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be getting married right about now. We call it off. What? We're not getting married. What do you mean, we? Look, listen. Love and I decided not to get married anymore. What happened? Is it because of me? Yes, actually. Oh my God, what have I done? 
Mm. No, no, it's, it's, it's not like that. Then it's like what, Jack? You've been right all along. Robert and I, we're not a perfect match after all. It just took us this long to realize this. I'm so sorry. Lafayette must be devastated. No, it's okay. She's fine. She's absolutely okay. You know what, Jack? I have a plane to catch. We don't have to leave. I want you to stay with me. Stay with me, please. I'm in love with you. Really, I am. I want you to marry me, like right now. Marry me. I'll put it in the car. I'm sorry. This is what's all, all a mistake. Oh. You know what? I don't care about him. I don't care about how you feel about him. You want to know why? He's a jerk. He's an asshole. This I love you. What did you say to me? I love you too. I'll marry you. What about him? <laughs> don't worry about him. What do you mean, don't worry about him? <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm so excited. <laughs> 